They come any which way they can, on foot, in buses and trucks. Central American migrants crossing into Mexico looking for sanctuary here or in the United States. They usually go in small groups, but every Easter, activists organize this caravan to bring awareness to the plight of those fleeing poverty or criminal gangs in their homelands, particularly El Salvador and Honduras. It started with threats and I'm a woman, and well, men can do more than me. We couldn't figure out any solutions except to come here and that's it. The caravan organisers hope that the sheer numbers will keep them safe from the cartels which often kill and extort migrants and mean that authorities let them stay or pass through. So far, they've been granted free passage. That's infuriated US President Donald Trump who tweeted, Mexico is doing very little, if not nothing, at stopping people from flowing into Mexico through their southern border and then into the US. That, on the whole, is not true. Over the last four years, Mexico has drastically tightened up its southern border with the help of funding from the US. Usually, migrants are caught in a web of patrols and checkpoints. There have been many accusations of human rights abuses. The tolerance for caravans like this one is the exception, not the rule. Something Mexican Foreign Minister Luis Videgray highlighted on Trump's preferred battleground. He tweeted, Every day Mexico and the US work together on migration throughout the region. Facts clearly reflect this. The government here had hoped that its efforts to stop migrants heading through Mexico to the US would help the relationship with the northern neighbor. But President Trump doesn't appear to see it that way. After learning about the caravan, he even threatened to call off a trade deal between the countries. It's impossible to know how many of the tweeted threats will turn into policy. But it's another headache for the Mexican government and an unhappy signal for those who say going home is not an option. John Holman, Al Jazeera, Mexico City.